Greetings and welcome to EE Craft. In the previous video, we explored how to write code to operate both cores of a dual core microcontroller RP2040 from the Raspberry Pi organization. We learned to use setup1 and loop1 functions to make the second core work in tandem with core 0. In this video, we will explore the APIs that allow communication between the cores. You can find detailed documentation about these function calls in the link provided. These calls are compatible with Mr. Earl F. Philhover's Arduino board support package for RP2040 Pico. In the previous video, we showed you how to install the board support package. The diagram illustrates how Core 0 can transfer a value to Core 1 using the RP2040.54.push function call. By executing this function, the value is added to the FI4. Core 1 can then use the RP2040.54. available function to determine how many values have been pushed into the FI4. Finally, using the RP2040.54.pop function, Core 1 can retrieve these values from the FI4. Note that the value pushed first is retrieved first using the pop function. I will now write a small example sketch to demonstrate the use of these functions. Let me open the example sketch blink without delay. This sketch makes use of the millis function to track the time elapsed. In the loop function, the current millis variable will get updated with the current time. Whenever the value of the current millis variable exceeds the previous millis value, the previous millis variable will be refreshed with the current millis value. After that, the built-in LED will toggle. In this code, the interval is set to 1000 milliseconds or 1 second. Once uploaded, the sketch will turn the built-in LED on and off every second. I have updated the code such that Core 0 does the same function as implemented in the example sketch. In addition to toggling the LED on and off every second, it pushes the values of the variable's current millis and LED state to the FI4. Check out the last couple of lines in the loop function. The code related to core 1 is added in the setup1 and loop1 functions. The setup1 function initializes the serial port. In the loop1 function, the code checks if there are two values available in the FI4. If there are, it pops those two values and stores those in the designated variables. The first value is the current millis and the second is the LED state value. It is important to ensure that the variables are properly typecast. The values for current millis and the LED state, which are passed on by core 1, are displayed on the serial port. Therefore, Core 1 receives information on the time in milliseconds and the LED state from Core 0 and prints those values on the serial port. I will now upload the sketch and open the serial monitor, so please observe closely. The configuration of the Pico board is usually left as the default. 